Hello everyone, it's Nadie, and today we're testing out the Wayne Goss Luxury Lip Collection. As you beautiful people know, this is about the products and not the people behind them. Any tip you may have with them, please cast it away because this is a channel of positive energy. Okay? Thank you. Hello, you little peppermint stars. How y'all doing? I hope everybody is having a fantastic day so far. Not gonna lie, I'm actually really damn excited for this review. Like, I've been so looking forward to these. Not completely excited on the shade range because does this world need any more nudes? Hell no. But this is his first lipstick launch and so it is very, very smart to go on the safe side and play to every person out there because like, who doesn't love a good nude? It's a really good way to launch your brand and get it known to the masses and then you can come up with a more unique colors, which I think I heard that's what he's going to be doing. There's going to be more vibrant colors later. So I'm not mad about it, but the only thing that's going to make me actually say, yes, these are worth the high price tag is the quality. Like if they're better than the other nudes, then hell yes. Yay. I'm assuming that because Wayne does hold such high standards in the makeup industry. I mean, he is a professional makeup artist that these are probably going to be really good quality, especially because he did go very, very simple, but chic on the packaging. To me, it does not read mainstream. It reads more professional quality and I don't mind that. Not every makeup I in the world needs glitz and glitter and like holographic wording and these lipsticks to me look more like they'd be in like a professional's kit so anyways let's stop chattering and dive into these i'm on beautylish's website where i ordered these from and this says what i love about these lipsticks is the pigmentation because these shades aren't opaque you can move up or down a shade that you might not have been able to before your own lip still shines through that's a quote from wayne typically if i'm paying almost 30 dollars for a lipstick i want that bitch to be pigmented as hell but what exactly did i pay i guess it doesn't give the pricing on here. Let's see, the lipsticks are $28 a piece. I think there's some beautiful shades here that probably anybody could rock. So bitch, good job on that. If you're gonna launch nudes, like make it all inclusive. And this to me is very all inclusive. The pictures do definitely give like a satiny sheen kind of look. I also got a few lip pencils. Those retail for $14 a piece and those two look beautiful. And then I think I got maybe one or two glosses, which how much are those? $22. By the time I got to the website, a lot a lot of things had been sold out and so I didn't even like try to color match. I just grabbed a few things that were still in stock and hopefully it'll look good together, but I don't know. I've never really been one to use lip liner, so this is gonna be a fun experience. Oh, look who's here. Hey, Mia, how you doing, girl? Say hi. Hers is on a diet because she wants to look like a Vogue superstar and because her stomach was touching the floor when she was walking. Okay, she is also grumpy. Bye, girl. Catch you on the flip side. Oh, god damn. She's coming up to me because clearly she is starving to death even though she gets fed four times a day. Obviously, she's famished. Anyways, for the pencils, oh my god, there's cat hair all over my lips. Bleh. Okay, for the lip pencils, we got cinnamon, vintage pink, sepia, and I think those are the only ones. And then I only got the shade Hyacinth for the lip gloss. And then for the lipsticks, we got Camellia, Zinnia, Lotus, and Chrysanthemum. And I also got a sample of Joe Malone London, Honeysuckle, and Divana. I'm not gonna say no to free shit. Yay. I love how Beautylish put this in this cute little packaging, but it has no sides. Here's our sample. Oh God, it's a fragrance. I will gift that to one of my friends. And here we have the cream lipstick. This is really cute cute packaging. I like the simplicity of it. And I love the fact that despite its simplicity, they're still selling out. Like Wayne Goss's name is what's selling these, not some like unique bullet style or anything. So that to me, that's cool. Oh, I guess these are distributed by Beautylish. So that's why I got them on the website. But let's open this one up. I don't know what shade it is. And here we go. Very, very nice cute packaging. Ooh, but she's a little bit dirty. Not that I really mind, but Ooh, it's really not that big of an issue. You probably can't even see it. But if you've ever seen how lipstick is made, they put this part down into like a little tube thing and kind of press this into this. And so it is very easy for this part to get dirty. I don't really care. Mm, and I don't think it has a fragrance. It just smells like lipstick, kind of like a nutty oil, but the color is really pretty. It does have little tiny miniature bubbles in it, which I don't really care. And there is actually a few little dents and stuff in there. I've gotten so many lipsticks that had the little bubbles in them. I think it has something to do with letting too much air into the product when it's in the liquid stage. You know, like when you whisk something quickly and it creates those bubbles and foam. So I'm not mad about it. That is the shade Zinnia. Very, very pretty. Next, we have the shade Lotus, which once again, my component is like dusty and dirty. I, I'm just confused about that. Otherwise though, this looks so pretty. Like that is a beautiful nude kind of like camel color shade. It has the bubbles, but nothing else. It smells mm, good. I personally like when lipsticks don't have a bunch of added fragrance to them. I don't mind when they smell like nutty, like oil, and that has that smell. I'm so excited for these. Then we have 
Very dusty. This is Camellia. Oh, I like that shade too. Ooh. But I am gonna be real with you, and this has nothing to do with Wayne Goss. This is complete manufacture issues, but there's a lot like happening. Like if I'm gonna pay $28 for a lipstick, which to me is a very luxury price for a cream lipstick, I want this to be like pristine. The packaging looks great. It's mainly like the bullet. Like this part is dusty. That happens like in warehouses. It, it just happens. But the bullet just just isn't the cleanest looking. I don't think there's anything wrong with them. Like, don't come for me. I'm not dissing Daddy Wayne. It's just for the price point, I want something very, very clean and like immaculate. Quality wise, they're probably fabulous. And really that's all that matters as long as there's no like foreign objects in the lipstick. Like dust on the components, that's no big issue. I've gotten hella expensive items that were a little bit dusty. So that's common. It's not that big of a deal. Okay, you know what? I thought they sent me the wrong products and I was gonna be like, what the hell? I've never had Beautylish wrong me like that. But I actually ordered two glosses. I thought I ordered four lipsticks and one gloss, but I got the gloss Hyacinth and Chrysanthemum. Anthemum. One of them is shimmery and one of them is, I don't know, you can't call it matte, but it doesn't have glitter in it. So they're both really, really pretty. These were probably the only two shades that I would actually wear. The packaging is very lightweight, but it also looks really nice. But also it could either be like luxury or wet and wild. I think the difference is what's in the tube, not necessarily the packaging. I feel like I'm being so critical. I am so sorry because Wayne Goss has always supported me. Like he's been such a sweetheart, but this isn't about the people. It has to be about the product. And I haven't really found much to be negative about. Like there's Way more positive than negative here. And here we have the sepia lip pencil. This is a really pretty kind of like maroon. Oh my God, I have to get my spinach out to open this. It's a very pretty like dusty mauve shade. I like that a lot. Like I would rock the hell out of this any day of the week. Before I put these on my hand, I'm just gonna go ahead and open all of them so we can see the colors. <gasps> Oh, is this the cinnamon one? This is so pretty. I love that color. Oh my God. I would much rather have to use a little energy to have to pull this off than it just like fly off, especially if this is gonna be in a makeup bag. So I actually kind of appreciate that I have to pull these hard. But here is the sexy cinnamon beast. Did any of you out there used to call cinnamon cinnamon? Because I did. Here's our last little bitch. This is the shade vintage pink. And oh, that's really pretty too. Come on, focus you little hoe. There we go. Ooh, that is gorgeous. And while I have this out, let's go ahead and do little baby like swatches right here. I'm just gonna put that right there. Ooh, that feels very, very nice. It's nice and creamy. I should probably zoom in a little more, shouldn't I? Okay, there she is in all her stunning glory. These are very, very creamy, but still kind of hard and waxy at the same time. They're not like overly creamy and just smush on your lips. It's like the perfect in between. I have so many lip pencils where as you apply them, it's like you go through the entire little thing that you have sharpened like in two seconds, but I feel as though this would probably last you a good little while. That is really, really nice. When I tell you I'm excited for these, I am so excited for these. Like last night I did a lip scrub, I did a lip mask. I had my lips like drenched in oil so they were nice and moist because there's nothing better than kissable, fuckable, suckable lips. Let's go in with the lipsticks. This is the shade Lotus. So damn pretty and it is kind of on the sheer side, not bad though, but to me it almost looks like a CoverGirl lipstick. Not quite what I was expecting. Let's try this beautiful red Zinnia right above it. Oh, that's a really pretty red too. It's not splotchy. It's just not super duper pigmented. And that kind of scares me because for somebody like myself that talks, when my lips go together more often than not, these kinds of lipsticks pick up and then it just leaves like a line. So if it doesn't do that, but it is still sheer, I don't mind that. I just get more scared when they are on the sheer side, but they kind of pick up and end up looking patchy after like 10 minutes. Lastly, we have Camellia and I love that color. It's so stunning and there we go go. Ugh. It's very, very creamy. My office here is pretty warm right now and you can tell. So I don't know that you'd want to keep these like in your purse if you live in a warm area and most definitely not like in your car if you're in a warm area because I fear that this might melt, but it might just be that it's that creamy that it feels really melty. Maybe it would stand up perfectly fine to like an Arizona summer, but I'm not going to be the one to test it. These are too pretty and too damn expensive. Here we go with the gloss. Let me see if it has a smell. Ooh, it smells like pooper mint. I I love me some good pooper mint. And this is a very, very interesting doe foot. It's kind of unlike anything that I've ever seen. Let's put Hyacinth right over there. You know what's interesting is this almost has more pigmentation to it than the lipstick. What if it's tasty? Uh... 
Oh, it is. And I don't know if this is a sticky formula, but even though I just licked that, like none came up. So that tells me that this is gonna adhere really, really well to the lips. I love that. I also love the oilier, thinner formulas too. And I can't tell if this feels thick or not. I don't know. I'm really excited to use it. Even though I'm not like a huge lip gloss fan, these two shades honestly spoke to me. And oh, we love a bronzy gloss. That is really, really pretty. I still do kind of think they're more pigmented than the lipsticks, which it's not like these claim to be full ass coverage lipsticks. In fact, Wayne Goss said that on the website that I just read. So we will definitely go into this knowing that this isn't like the Tom Ford one swipe covers your entire fucking body kind of lipsticks. But I want to kind of try everything separately before we combine them. So let's start with the lipsticks. This is the shade Zinnia and Ugh. I'm so excited. There is no product on my lips right now. They just feel very soft and very hydrated. So let's go. Uh, okay. Mmm. Oh, that's actually really, really pretty. It's not at all what I thought it was going to be like. I thought it was going to be more like kind of like a lip gloss because they said it was so sheer and just like looking at the pictures, they look a bit more sheer in the pictures than they do on the lips. I'm going to go in with a second coat because usually what I'll do is coat my lower lip, rub them together and then go in with a second application. So here we go. Mmm, uh, they feel very, very soft. They do have a flavor, kind of like a waxy Halloween makeup-ish flavor, but I would much rather have this than a synthetic flavor. Um, 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 here we go. What do we think? Mmm, mmm, mmm. I quite like this. The thing that I was most scared about was the lipstick coming up when I talk, and even though I keep talking and won't shut my fucking mouth, it's not coming up at all. It's not leaving like any lip imprints. This is actually quite beautiful. I know that I compared the coverage on my hand to the CoverGirl lipsticks, but exactly what I said I didn't want to happen is what happens with the CoverGirl lipsticks. And so I would say the coverage is the same, but the quality, it just feels a lot more luxurious. It feels so moisturizing on my lips. It doesn't really feel like there's anything more than a balm, but because it is so soft and creamy, like a lot of lipsticks like this, you do need a lip liner because she is bleeding. So after we test all the other products, I'll probably pair this with cinnamon. And like a lot of cream lipsticks, this does kind of just wipe off. You're not going to be able to eat with it on. You're going to eat your lipstick. But I guess I do wish it did have somewhat of a staying power, especially because these are on the pricey side. And if I were going to be using these for like somebody's wedding makeup, if you just went like that or hugged somebody, your lipstick would be on that person or your dress. So I don't love that aspect, but this still looks absolutely beautiful. I don't know if you can see the edges, but I think they're either melted or this just is extremely creamy. Let me go ahead and put this on. Oh, that color is divine. And just like the website says, you can see a little bit of a hint of your natural lip color shining through, but it doesn't make it look patchy. Most of the shades that I have like this that are in bullet form are really patchy or they do that lip thing where it kind of picks up. But once again, this is very, very hydrating. It's staying on my lips. I think it looks great. What do you think? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, when they wear bullet style lipsticks, they'll kind of bite down on toilet paper to mattify it down and really lock it in. So I want to see if I can do that and still have color remain. Let's see. Um, mwah. Ooh, the color did go on, but it's still on my lips. And truthfully, it feels so much better. Wait, now that I look at my lips, there's not really much of anything left. There's like a little ring around my lips, like a blow up doll, but Mm, I don't know. I guess there's a little bit, but most of the color is now on here. I guess I was expecting that, but I was more so like hoping that it would last. I don't know. Maybe there is still quite a bit on my lips. Let me take off half of it. Just go right there. And um, yeah, there is still a little bit of lipstick. I don't know if I would suggest doing the little TP thing, but it does definitely mattify it down. And I feel like maybe it would last a little bit longer that way. Either way, it's still pretty. Then the last one we have is Lotus. Is this the one I just did? No, it's not. Okay, so here we go with Lotus. Uh... <gasps> Ah, yes. It is very similar to the other one that we put on. It's almost like your lips, but better for me. Damn, they're so comfortable. Mm, what do you think? Yes. Mm, mm, ooh. I do want to see what this looks like with a lip gloss over it. A lot of times lip glosses melt whatever's underneath it. Maybe I need the pencil under this and then the lipstick and then this. But just for shits, let's go ahead and see. And, oh, 
Ah, oh, ha, 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 that's a nice lip gloss. You know what? Those are actually playing together very, very well, even without the lip liner. Like, it's not really moving the lipstick around because this bitch is so thick. But even though it's thick, it's not gloopy and, like, heavy on the lips. What do you think? I don't see any patchiness whatsoever on the lipstick. It looks like one solid product. I like this. But also, the lipstick itself is so shiny that... You probably don't even need the gloss. Like, it does feel like a gloss in itself. And it has that fucking gorgeous, beautiful sheen to it that just gives your lips, like, a healthy glow. I'm digging this shit so far, y'all. Let's go ahead and hop into the lip pencils and... All right, here we go. Oh, that heel is so nice. I like it because with this, you're able to be precise. I have a lot of lip liners that, because they are so creamy and just smush into your lips, it's really difficult to, like, overdry your lips and not have your lips look like you were just face fucked behind the hardware store. This this, this is very nice. I could though see these being a little bit too hard for people, especially if you're not in a warm room like I am. And I think I would probably pair that up with Camellia. So let's go ahead and try. Oh my God. When you do line your lips with that, this is so pigmented because there's already that base down. So if you don't want to see the color of your lips underneath, definitely go in like I just did. It might feel dry for the first second, but then once you put this over it, because it's so moisturizing, it feels like there's nothing there. Like it's fucking weightless. Y'all, it is very difficult for me to find any issues quality wise. Like this is so nice. Does this feel like a $42 lip combo though? Oh, uh, I don't know about that. I'm not exactly sold on the price, but it does look beautiful. Like this is something that I would feel comfortable putting onto a client if I did make it professionally, especially with the pencil, actually probably only with the pencil. I don't know that I'd feel very comfortable just putting on the lipstick alone. I think the pencil really, really helps lock this onto your lips. So let's go ahead and put Hyacinth over this. Mm, feels good. Okay, so now I can kind of see that lip gloss eating away the product. I don't know why I didn't see that with just the lipstick alone, but with both the pencil and the lipstick and the gloss, it, mm, I don't know. I don't normally put a gloss over a cream lipstick unless it's going to dry down and I don't know that I would really suggest putting a gloss over these lipsticks. Totally makes sense. I was just curious, but it feels great. But now that that gloss is on there, I was able to very, very easily wipe away everything. So it just melts what you're wearing, which is common knowledge. So it's not that big of a deal. Oh, I'm going to save that red one for last because I think that's what has my nips the hardest. So let's go in with sepia. It's the same exact beautiful formula. I am shit at lining my lips, but this is actually making it very, very easy and kind of pleasant. I did not go through much product at all. That is a good ass lip liner. Over that, I'm gonna go in with some Lotus. And this actually did kind of take off some of the liner. I'm not sure if that's because it's so like creamy and oily. I mean, my lips are still lined and it doesn't really look like the lipstick is gonna feather out. So that's good. That's what it's for. But I kind of think that if you're gonna combine these, you might want to like completely fill in your lips with the liner and then go over it with this. It's totally up to you. I mean, if you get these, you can feel it out and kind of do your own thing. For me, that's probably the route that I would go. These look great together though. I think they're just, uh, oh, fuck me. This is my color. What do you think? Mm, mm, mm -hmm. Oh, then last up we have Zinnia and Cinnamon. <laughs> because this is a completely different shade than my natural lip color, we should be able to really see this. So let's go. Uh, uh. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. I did an absolute shit job at lining my lips. I will be the first to admit, but these pair together so well. I did the whole lip thing again with the liner and then just put this over it and it feels rock solid. One could even say rock hard. But no, out of all the lipsticks that we tried today, I think this is my favorite combo. They're both just beautiful reds. So here we go. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. And you know what? Even without that gloss, they both do still wipe away fairly easily. This is literally just a towel that I'm wiping this away with. So are they going to be the most long lasting lipsticks? No. Like if you're planning on doing anything extracurricular with your lips, you might want to wipe them first. Finally, I just want to try these glosses alone. So let's go in with Hyacinth and... Ah, oh, that does feel really nice. It's very thick, but not uncomfortable. It does feel like it's gonna last a long time. As long as you're not eating or just like wiping your lips, I feel like this could last through a lot of conversation. This actually kind of does feel like it's worth the price, which coming from somebody that doesn't care much for lip glosses, that's saying a lot. I like this. I dare say this might actually be like one of my favorite products out of this collection so far. Let me try this last gloss. 
sauce. All right, here we go. Mm. I don't love this one. I'm gonna be real with you. I don't know if it's maybe because I applied too much or if it's because there's like shimmer in it. I don't know, but it does to me feel a little bit different than this. Not sticky, but a little bit heavy and gloopy. Let me just like take a little bit off. Mwah. Yeah, I don't like this one. Let me go back in with this one and see if it actually does feel different. To me, they do kind of feel different, but I think my lips are also getting a little bit dried out from taking off so many products. So let me quick put a little something on there to revive them and then try them again. Okay, we applied a little lip balm. Let's go ahead and try this little bitch again. Here we go. And I think that fixed it. It does to me still feel a little bit on the heavy side though, but not nearly as uncomfortable as it did before. So if you're gonna wear these, make sure that you at least have moisturized lips. And it does look really nice. Like it's not gathering around my lips like a lot of lip glosses do. And it's very evenly distributed with the shimmer. I think the only thing that justifies the price is that it does feel like it would last all day. Like, you know, it's gonna cling there. Like a baby gay at price to a sugar daddy. This stuff is stuck. It ain't going anywhere. So I don't think I'm going to go in and do like a makeup look today. I have so many things to do around the house, but I do want to do a wear time test with these. So why don't I start with this and in a few hours I'll check in and we can see where it's at and then maybe I can use some lipsticks. So this is what we look like. My lips have a nice little sheen to them. I will see you in just a second. And we are back. It's only been about an hour, but I wanted to check in because there doesn't feel like there's any lip gloss left. Like it just feels like there's something on my lips. And I kind of want to reach for like a lip balm or something. But what is left is all of this color pigment. And so it's kind of giving the effect that it looks like there's lip gloss on my lips, but there really isn't. And I think I kind of like that. It's just that my lips do feel a little bit on the dry side. But if you're somebody that has really moisturized and hydrated lips, I think you would like this because the look of the gloss does really feel like it's lasting. But is there still that like thick moisturizing feeling lip gloss on there? No, there's just pigment left. If your lips are on the dry side and you were kind of looking forward to having that thick gloss on them all day to keep the moisture in. This probably isn't going to be the lip gloss for you, but if you do have nice supple lips that don't need moisturization every like 10 minutes like mine do, then this faux gloss look that's just shimmer remaining on the lips is going to last you all fucking day. Like, I don't think this is going anywhere. It's like the lip sense of gloss. I think it's very, very pretty, but I do just need a little bit of moisture on my lips throughout the day. So it's not my favorite. So I went ahead and wiped off whatever's left. My lips don't feel bad, even though they did feel a little bit on the dry side. Now that that gloss is off, I don't really feel that dryness anymore. So I'm just going to go in with this lip pencil and I think we'll wear the red one for a few hours and see where that takes us. And I didn't fill in my entire lip with this because I do kind of want to see how both of them wear. Oh shit, that's pretty. So here we go. Oh, this just is so fucking pretty. It looks absolutely perfect. So I'm going to give this a few hours. I will see you in just a second. And we are are back. We just hit around the two and a half ish hour mark. I wanted to wear this for a little bit longer, but I've actually been looking at the way it's been fading and I think I can safely come to a verdict. So I love Wayne Goss like to the moon and back. He is a literal national treasure. I wish him nothing but happiness and more. But this isn't about Wayne. It's about the makeup that he launched and unlike Wayne himself, this does have a few flaws. I like to end things on a happy positive note on this channel. So let's start at the cons and work our way to the positive things. I I am probably gonna say that price is definitely the biggest con here. I don't know if you can really tell, but it has faded and the lip liner, there's a little bit left, but not much. And it's not like I've eaten anything. Nothing has touched my mouth except for this metal straw, which I cleaned before we did this wear time test. And I'm home alone, so it's not like I've been talking. So this is just how it looks naturally. And it's not like it looks bad, but to me, it doesn't really look like there's much lipstick on there. Maybe it does on camera, but in person, really all I see is a little bit of liner left. Am I surprised? Not really, because the formula does feel very, very sheer and very moisturizing, and so it feels kind of like a lip balm where it disappears. I was kind of expecting it to last a little bit longer because they did say kind of like an all-day wear thing, but it's really not. Like, I have $20 cream lipsticks where you can apply it, and five hours later you can eat a whole fucking bag of Doritos. Not like I've done that before, but you can, and it'll still look banging afterwards. But the $28 lipstick didn't really even last 
last through just sitting on my lips. And so it's definitely a luxury price, but the price doesn't match the quality. That's not to say the quality isn't great, it's beautiful quality, but does it match the price tag? No. Another con is that this lipstick isn't the most pigmented thing in the world, but I don't necessarily think that's a con because we did go into this knowing that it is a more sheer formula. I have this thing in my mind where it's like the more expensive something is, the more pigmented it should be, and that's really not the case. So if that's a con to you, that's totally okay, but if it isn't, I understand as well. Another con is that if you're gonna use these professionally, you really can't use them alone. Like the lipstick, it is going to bleed. Unless you're gonna use a lip liner, which you don't have to use his lip liner, you can use any of them, but it is a really good lip liner. But you also would not wanna use this lip liner alone by itself, just as a lipstick like you can with other liners. Your lips will be screaming bloody fucking Mary for moisture, but when you put either this or the gloss over it, it's perfect. It adds the perfect amount of moisture to make this so damn comfortable, but this is a $28 lipstick and a $14 pencil. That's over $40 for a lipstick combo that you will have to keep reapplying throughout the day. Which means if you're a working makeup artist, you either have to give this to the client so that they can touch up their own lipstick throughout the day, or you have to stay there and do it for them. Oh my God, I just spat. So that depends on you if you're comfortable with that. They do look beautiful together, but because they fade so quickly, I wouldn't be comfortable using that. And my whole determining factor on if this is a good collection or not was whether or not you can use this professionally. And I don't know that I would. It's not like they're unattractive, like they're beautiful lipsticks, but I just don't feel like this was worth $40 and I don't feel like this is worth almost 30. As much as it pains me to say, because I love Wayne and he knows what the fuck he's doing, in order for something to be classified as luxury, it has to be steps above like the middle ground. And to me, this is only like a middle ground product. Oh God, that hurts to say, I'm sorry, Wayne, but I have to be honest. The only cons that I can really find with the lip glasses is that they don't really last very long, but what you're left with is a beautiful sheen like this one. It leaves a golden pearl on your lips, but if you're the kind of person that wants that nice moisturized glossy feeling on your lips for more than like 10 minutes, this probably isn't going to be the gloss for you, which once again brings me to the price. I think for some people this probably is going to be really, really worth it because like I said, it does leave a gorgeous sheen on there, but for somebody like me who has perpetually dry lips, I want that remaining glossy feeling, which I get with so many other glosses that are way less expensive than this. They do not offer an all-day gloss feel, but they do offer a really good all-day gloss look. So if that's what you're interested in, then by all means, you will fucking love the shit out of this. But for me personally, that's not what I want. Oh, breathing in, we breathe in. Breathing out, we breathe out. Let's move on to the pros, because in my humble opinion, there are way more pros than there are cons. First of all, I love this packaging. It is chic, it is sexy. It's basically Wayne in makeup form. I wasn't sure if I liked the fact that the lids aren't magnetic. It's very old school, but now that I'm thinking of it, I'm remembering that I put a lipstick in one of my makeup bags a long time ago, and my makeup bag is much like a lot of people's purses, and I just remember opening the bag and seeing the lipstick cap off of the tube, and the lipstick had like pushed out and was all over everything. For storing lipstick, I don't mind magnetic cases, but if you're gonna put this in your purse, it would take quite a lot to get this undone. So A plus on that. Does it read as luxury? No, it reads as functional, which I suppose in itself can be a luxury, but it's not like in your face and I really like that. Everything in this collection is very comfortable. Like I said before, these aren't comfortable on their own, like they will dry your lips the fuck out, but the way that everything just goes with each other is kind of beautiful. I feel as though it's kind of difficult to go wrong with these, like you could probably pair so many things in the collection together and it would just work. And so color wise, like definite kudos and snaps are in order. I feel like it would be really fucking hard to find somebody that most of these wouldn't work on. I ordered my shade totally at random and I thought they looked beautiful on me. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just up my own ass. But I'm looking at the picture of all the shades and I don't dislike any of them. Like, I think they're beautiful. This is one of those collections where you might pick a shade that you're not sure you'll be able to rock, but then you'll put it on and you'll be like, bitch, I'm invincible. The lipsticks feel so hydrating and nourishing. They're the kind of lipsticks that you want to put more on. Like, some lipsticks, I'm like, oh my god, I have to reapply them. But because it's almost like a lip balm, you're like, yes, bitch, lube me up. Also, probably something that doesn't pertain to most everybody watching, but lip pencils are such a bitch to put on when you have facial hair. They're just really like cracky and just gross, but I had no issues putting this on. Did it last all day? No. Really nothing lasted more than a couple hours, but it was awesome to work with. I love how the lip glosses leave a sheen on your lips, even when there's no lip gloss there. Like the remnants of this will last all day, and I think it's so pretty. So there's definitely pros and there's definitely cons. I'm not gonna say whether or not I recommend this, because honestly, we all kind of have different tastes. Like, is 
this my cup of tea? Not necessarily, but are they beautiful? Absolutely. I just don't think they're worth the price. But for others, it totally may be. So there we go. Thank you all so much for watching and for being here. I love having you. Big congrats to Wayne for your launch. You go, honey. Like always, please be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell down below so that you're notified anytime I upload a new video. Don't forget my newest collection of highlighters, including Black Ice, which does change from black to white, is available at thepoplex.com. Also, my latest album, Kiss of Fame, is available everywhere in line that music is sold. Thank you so much to everyone who's supporting them. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter at Official Lady, and you can follow me online at thepoplex.com. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all, and I will see you again soon. Bye!